You know, God has given us emotions for a reason. Fear is a great alert system and remorse is useful, but we were never meant to let those emotions rule our lives. Fear should be met with faith and remorse should lead to repentance. In chapter 24, there's a great comparison between Saul, who runs his life based solely on his emotional state, and David, who puts his trust in God alone. Not himself, not his feelings, not even the opinions of his most trusted friends. See, there's no substitute for knowing the heart and mind of God. And that only comes from seeking God daily in the word, as David was known to do. Throughout the events of this chapter, even Saul sees this contrast and has a very emotional and tearful response. He admits that David was a better man. He admits David should and would be king one day. He even stops his pursuit of David in that moment. But notice, he didn't step down from his throne, even though he knew that was God's ultimate will and better for Israel. This was an emotional moment that Saul had, but it came with no real or lasting change. His fear and paranoia is still simmering just below the surface. I think the last verse is the most telling and symbolic. It said that Saul returned home and David to his stronghold. In other words, Saul returned to what was comfortable, his crown, his palace, his emotions, his fear, his paranoia. And David returned to his stronghold. In Psalm 18, David wrote about this word stronghold. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. 